strength we're gonna run through it just two times each exercise 36 seconds on 12 seconds of rest we have I am coach Colin and we have coach Elaine here I always forget coach Elaine hey there she is and we have coach Rob doing our regressions today hey Rincon hey Fort Hills let's oh, go hey. and we have coach Carol in the house let's go oh man all right so we're gonna start this workout we're gonna go through the demos real quick Rob is gonna show us the regressions and Lane is going to show us how to do the prescribed exercises. So on number one, we have a lateral bear crawl. So we're going to go into a bear crawl position. Boom, right? You're going to make sure that your knees are up off the ground, your shins are parallel, really squeezing your core, and you're going to go side to side, two steps to the side, two steps back, just like that. Nice job, Lane. Perfect, right? Make sure your hands are underneath your shoulders and you squeeze those quads. The regression is just going to be a hold, right? So we're going to be in a bear crawl position, just like Rob's showing us. And you're just holding that position as best you can for 36 seconds. Perfect. All right. Nice job, guys. Let's number two. Number two, we have a squat pulse. We're going to go to the hacky sacks if you guys are doing the warm-up. Yeah? Warm-up. Hacky sacks. You got it. Right? So number two is going to be a squat pulse. So we're going to go down. You got three little squats at the bottom. Fire up your glutes at the bottom there. Come on back up. It's three to one ratio. So one, two, three, up, boom. Make sure you drive through your heels. Use your butt. You got it. Nice job, Elaine. Well, off. right, the regression is just going to be. What is the regression going to be? It's just to be a squat hold, maybe? Different range, shorter range of motion. Shorter range of motion. That sounds good to me. Shorter range of motion is fine. Just make sure that your hips go back, your chest goes up, your posture is right. Get it right. You got it today. Let's get it done. We're going to number three on the warm up. You're going to hurdlers, right? Hurdlers. So, number three is a low plank. Scapular retraction, whoa, protraction, right? So you're gonna be on your forearms, give your hands a little break from that plank position normally. You're gonna drop your scapula down to the ground, push it back out. You wanna push your shoulder blades out, and you wanna squeeze them real tight at the bottom there. So you're really just moving up and down with your back there. You should feel it right in the middle of that upper back there. Nice job. But there are, uh, the regression could be on your knees, I suppose. But you don't need to do the regression. I think you guys can all do it. You can all do it, but if you need to, from your knees, you're going to go down. You want to squeeze your shoulder blades together at the bottom, push them out at the top. Rossi is Rob. Bueno. All right. Number five, number four, right? We're going to go for the warm-up. We have a squat to reach, so squat down, reach to the side. That's your next warm-up move. Our next move is going to be a split squat pull. So we're going to pick one leg. We only have two rounds, so you get both legs. Don't worry. Right? You're going to make sure our feet are shoulder width apart, drop down. And you're going to go three pulses, boom, just like that. Come on back up. Do it all over again for 36 seconds. That's it. Right? That's lots of time. You get like 12 in there. Okay. Easy. All right? The regression would just be to do a shorter range of motion, right? So you don't have to get as low, but you are getting the three pulses coming back to the top. Pop back up because you're so excited to do it again. All right? <laughs> Number five. We have a hand release push-up. So this is good to practice your push-ups, right? You want to make sure you go all the way to the ground. Hand release. They come off the ground. Then push. You've got to squeeze your glutes and your core at the same time as you push yourself back up. Just like Coach Elaine showed us, you got it. This is a great way to work on your push-ups at home. So, any regression is just going to be from your knees, right? So you're going to come down. You're still doing the hand release, right? Don't forget the hand release. There we go. Nice. Keep your hands underneath your shoulders. Wing it out like an arrow at the top. You know the drill. Nice job, Rob. Crushed it. Crushed it. All right. All right. What's number six? On the warm-up, we're going to the full-body extensions, if you haven't already. Thanks, Coach Carol. Watch Coach Carol for the warm-up, you know? You can follow along. It's easy to do. All right, number five. Number six is single leg deadlift uh, knee drive. So we're going to go to a single leg deadlift. So slowly bring your leg up, and then you're going to try to get your knee up as quick as you can at the top there. This is a hard move to balance. So when you're doing it, just make sure that you have this leg that's on the ground, right? The foot on the ground, bent, right? Don't straighten out your leg, boom. Just like that, nice job. Nice. Go, nice. Nice job, a little regression for you. You have trouble bouncing. I know I have some trouble sometimes, so you're gonna go keep one foot on the ground, or both feet on the ground. Sorry. Hinge, oh, no. high knee, bang, there it is. What's that? What? Uh, yeah, we're, we're not starting there yet. We're almost there, we're almost there. Chest palm press is the next one that we're going to show. So we're doing the chest palm press. We're going to lay down on our backs. We're going to bring our palms together, elbows out wide, and you're going to squeeze as hard as you can for four seconds to get to the top. Two second hold at the top. One second to come back down. Just like you're doing a little prayer. 
This is a metabolic prayer. Here you go. Right? You're doing four seconds there. It's just like the top of your chest should be on fire there. You really want, it's as hard as you make it. So you want to squeeze as hard as you can. And uh, a regression would just be, so, actually there's no regression. Everybody can do that. Everybody can lay down. You can do the chest press. There's no regression. You got it. Number eight is a lateral lunge to curtsy lunge. So this one gets a little tricky, but it's a great move for your glutes, your quads, and your adductors, right? So you can do a back to a side lunge, then a little step back to a curtsy lunge. If you have to do a little regression, you're just going to go here and then take a step between and then go behind. Yeah, make a nice curtsy lunge. You got to look up when you curtsy so you know who you're curtsying to, you know? Get your posture straight. That's all the moves for today. We are going to start today with a nice igniter for four minutes. Four minutes of work. We have fast punches and alternating board breakers, right? So fast punches, we're going side to side. Board breakers, you're going knee up like you're smashing a board, alternating sides. You're going for 20 seconds on, 20 seconds off for four minutes. That's six rounds. Get ready. We're starting in three, two, one. 20 seconds, that's it, let's go, let's go. Cross body crunches, let's go. Cross, cross, cross. Why are you going through? 20 seconds, that's it. Then we'll switch 20 seconds of board breakers. Make sure that you're breathing in your nose, out your mouth. We have eight seconds left, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Get that heart rate moving. And three, two, one, we're going board breakers, side to side, good. Use your hip, turn that knee up. Get it on up, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. the time, all right. You have 10 more seconds left. 10 seconds. Can you give me the time? All right, 10 seconds. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. We're going to fast lunges, right cross body crunches. 20 seconds. Let's go. We're done. Round one. Run. Round two. We only got five to go. Let's go. Here we go. We're going. We're going. We're going. 10 more seconds. Let's go. Good. Nice short punches, short breaths. You got to get that heart rate up to get this workout right. Three. Two, one, and 20 seconds on. All right, we're going board breakers. Get that knee involved. Move your hip, move your knee. Boom. Break the board. No, not for real, but imaginary board. Yeah, you guys got 10 seconds on the move. Let's go. Good. Get that knee up there. You guys got five, four, three, two, one. Switch it up. You got cross body crunch. Not cross body punches. Cross body punches. Boom, 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 boom. Punch it like you mean it. Let's go. We're crushing it. You only got how much time? We're halfway there. We're halfway there. Begin in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Board breakers. You know the drill. You know the drill. I know it's a lot of work, but it's worth it if you work for it. Let's go. Good, good. Nice exhale. Just come to the top. That's all you got to do. Short breath, short moves. You got it. Oh, look at Carol. She's crushing it. Five, four. And three, two, one, go to punches, 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 punches. If you're getting tired, I know it's a lot of work, but it's worth it, and we're more than halfway through. All right, Niner, let go. You guys got it, you guys got it. 10 seconds on the clock, come on. You can do it. Go, 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 go. Five, four, three, two, one. We're going back to board breakers. Let's go. Break those boards. You got it. Let's get it done. Let's go. We get it. Let's go, you got it. Make sure you're breathing right in your nose, out your mouth. Exhale when you bring your knee up. Inhale all the way down. That's the way to go. You only got eight more seconds on this round. Let's go. Woo! Five, four, three, two, one. And we're back to punches. I know it's not any rest, but it's worth it. You got to get that heart rate up to get this workout in. Let's go. Good, good. Three, two, one. Just kidding, you counted that wrong. Ten more seconds. I tricked you. Not on purpose. Five, four, three, two, one. Now we're moving to the next move. I've got board breakers. Let's go. Get those hips involved. Those hips kind of get warmed up. Ready? Got to lubricate it up before we get started. You got 10 seconds left. Let's go. You got it. You got it. We're almost to the four minute mark. That's when we're starting the workout. Yeah. Three, two, one. And we're switching the punches Woo! on the last round. Last round, best round, let's go. Yeah, let's go, focus on what you're doing. This is gonna make sure that you get the most efficient workout in today. All right, we got eight seconds left on those punches. Let's go, side to side. Punch, 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 punch. Muhammad Ali, let's go. Three, two, one, and we're back to board yeah. breakers. One more, let's go. Break those boards at home. You gotta fix them later, but who cares? You gotta break them now. 10 seconds on the clock, let's go. 
back down on the ground, on your back, next right, you have a chest palm press. Your elbows are out wide, your hands are together, you're squeezing it up. Four seconds to get up. Three, two, one, game on. Two, go down. Or two at the top. Not that. Four, two, one. You know it. Really, you can all about how much you squeeze your hands together to get your chest involved. If you check out Coach Lane, he's got a super heavy one ton water bottle right there. Press it up like this is no tomorrow. Look at that. Look at that. He's strong in half. Let's go. Ten seconds on the clock. You really got to force that squeeze to get the game for six more seconds. Let's go. Three and two, one. Take a nice rest. You don't got to go anywhere. We're laying on our back. Right? You got ten seconds to hang out here. Stretch your arms, maybe flop around, do the burning, whatever you want to do. Three, two, one. Last time this exercise. Four seconds to get up. Squeeze. Two at the top and one to bring it back down. You should be shaking in your boots if you're doing it right. Your arms should be shaking as you squeeze it up. That's how you know you're squeezing hard enough. Let's go. You guys got 20 seconds on the clock. Look at Coach Carolina, that's how his shoulders come up and down. Get some ab engagement in there too. He's working the whole front anterior. Let's go. Whoa, take it on the clock. You can do it. Let's go. Don't quit up me now. I don't want to see these, right? Nice and controlled. Yeah. The games are worth it. Three, two, one. Rest. Nice job. Look at like rest. I don't know why I did that. We have one more exercise. So I got a lateral lunge, first lunge. So lateral lunge. Bring your hip back, chest up, first you on, foot behind, and in. Yikes, for two seconds in, let's go. Maybe I'll add some more time, who knows? Who knows? Good, good, right make sure your chest stays up high. You're really engaging that core in order to make sure that your lunge goes correctly. Boom, nice job. 20 seconds on the clock, let's go. Right, go side, same right the whole time. Boom, 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 you got it. 10 seconds left, nice job. Control your movement, control your life, you know? Hey, hey. hey three, two, one. Like yeah. Nice job. Nice job, nice job, nice job. We only got one more round. Hey, hey. Three, two, one. He did. Look, I told you I was going to give you a couple of seconds. You got it now. There it is. Let's go. We're on the last round, best round. Let's go. Put your down. Make sure you're breathing. You gotta take a breather in order to make it worthwhile. Let's go. You guys got 25 seconds on the clock. What do you do with those last 20 seconds? You gotta get. You gotta work hard. You gotta get strong. We're gonna work hard, coach. 50 seconds to get stronger. Let's go. Oh, boys, they were crushing it. 10 seconds left. Let's go. As many as you can get in those last 10 seconds. Chest up high. Boots engaged. We on fire for four, three, two. One and last. Nice job. Woo! Nice job at home. But we're not done yet. Don't be at, don't leave your kitchen or wherever you're at. Your basement, your laundry room, or your closet. Who knows? All right, we're gonna do one more round of the starting exercise that we start on. So we have four minutes of work. Yikes! You can do it. You gotta burn it out, right? We have fast punches, alternating board breakers, four minutes, six rounds of 20 seconds each. You know the name of the game, you already did it. You guys ready? Yeah. You guys ready? Yeah. You guys get water? Get water? Ready. Ready. Now, ready. Now, you are born ready. That's yeah. what Rob said. You better pay attention to Rob. Pedal to the metal. Three, two, one. Let's get it on. Let's go. Punch it out. Punch it out. Let's go. Last round. Last round. Four minutes of work. Yeah, yeah. Ten seconds. Push it, push it. Good, good. Whoa, 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 whoa. Three. Two, one, and we're moving to the board breaker, side to side. Snap those boards like you mean it. Let's go, this is the last thing of your workout. You gotta do it like you mean it. Remember why you started the workout, right? Not quit at the end. 10 seconds left, let's go. Let's go, you got it, you got it. Come on, five, four, three, go, Bruno, and we're back to punch it, go, go. Oh, look at that, I want to be in front of her. Get knocked out real quick. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Look at that, get some uppercuts in there. Throw some hooks, Woo! mix it up. Nine seconds on the clock, as long as you're punching, I'm cool. In three, two, one, and on to board breakers, let's go. I almost said rest, but not yet. No rest yet. No rest. No rest for the weary, that, let's go. You got 10 seconds, let's go. Get those knees up, side to side. Break those boards like you need it. 
We're karate masters right now. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, yeah. We're moving on. Punch it out. Let's go. Rocky Balboa. Boom. Nice work, guys. Nice work. You guys got 10 seconds left on this one. We're cruising. We're cruising. And five, four, three, two, one. Oh, moving on. Right. Let's go. We're not resting yet. movement today. They earned a stretch, you know? Keep it there for about 20 more seconds. I'm going to go over some things with you today, like what's on the menu? Does anybody know? They don't know. I got you. Don't worry. It's lemon basil spaghetti squash. Whoa, that's crazy. Page 77, check it out. Add some protein. You can add some, add some protein. Chicken, fish, whatever you want. You know, tofu? That's not yeah. that one. Yeah? All right, switch. Legs, switch arms. Nice and easy. Which one? Buffalo. Add some buffalo if you're feeling right. Yeah. If you just shot a buffalo, <laughs> you might want to check the part of the first, but you can eat that too. And deer even if you want. Right? Make sure that when you're doing this stretch, you're really digging this back knee in the ground so you can lean back, push your hips forward, stretch up those hip flexors. You got it. What was it? Lean protein is the way to go. I feel like we're going to start a wrap there, but I got nothing. All right. And then we're going to go down into a seated position. We're going to do a butterfly stretch here. So bottom of your feet, you face each other. Tuck your feet up as close to your hips as possible. Again, you're engaging your hips here. If your knees come off the ground, that's good. Push them back down. Right? Hold it there. If your knees don't come off the ground, you're good to go. <laughs> I want to be seen having my lean protein. Oh, seen with the lean protein. Get out of me. Oh, it's Rob on the bike. Nice job, nice job. No. That's better than me. You know? body machine. All right. And if you go to the next thing is our family activity. You're gonna take one leg, stretch it out here. So one leg comes out, 
Knee below the leg there, and we're gonna go, there's three progressions you can do here, right? You can go one hand to your toe, two hands to your toe. If this is too easy, put your head to your knee. And shoulders, knees, and toes. All right, what's the uh, family activity? Well, let me tell you, it's a play family feud. Yeah! Woo! Just don't get into a fight with your brother and sister, you know? Keep your kids calm, you know? <laughs> if you don't know what family feud is, you can check it out uh, on YouTube probably, right? Steve Harvey is a, he's a blast, he's a hoot. He's a hoop. He's a hoop. He's a hoop. Right? A uh, quarantine not challenge. No, you can't. Know, right? The challenge is not to watch Family Feud. It's to do it with your family. Right? Because that's the idea that you, everybody's staying home and staying safe. Switch legs. Right? So the progression is one hand, two hands, forehead to your knee. If you can, hold it. Why not? You guys feel that stretch there? Do. Yeah. <laughs> Why is one side tighter than the other, Tom? Oh, well, that was a big question, Rob. One side can get tighter than the other if you have any hip flexor problems or if you have like a hip impingement. A lot of people honestly just don't walk correctly and it really just formulates for an uneven hip your whole life and you'll never know it until it hurts, unfortunately. But there's a way to fix it. Don't worry, we'll go over it with you on one of our Zoom calls. Yeah! All right, our quarantine challenge is to write down one thing you're proud that you accomplished this week, right? Because if you remember, we challenged you last week to write complete a goal for the end of the week, right? It's like a short-term goal of a Monday? The yeah. beginning of the week was Monday. Today's Friday, whoops. Friday, so you should have completed that goal by now. And then I want you to share it, like post it on Facebook, right? Tag all your friends. You can tag me if you want. If we're not friends, you gotta add me, okay? All right, we're gonna go one more stretch here. So I'm gonna do a frog crawl because everyone loves it, yeah? You're gonna go down here, 90 degrees between your hamstring and your calf, 90 degrees between your shin and the top of your foot. And you're gonna put your hips right above the ground, sink your hips down straight to the ground as close as you can get and hold it. Right? Make sure your form plank is here so you stabilize. You should feel uncomfortable here. Yeah, that's when you know you're in the right spot. This is what you can do all the time, too. Look at that. All you need is yourself and the ground. You should just do it at work, do it at home, or every just boom, frog sprawl. Especially if you want some hip symmetry or if you just want a better squat, deadlift, and life. You know? Like you know it, right? If you can, if you're doing this at home and you're watching here, we're not going to do it for two minutes today, but try your best to stay there for two minutes. That's what it takes to make a muscle elasticity change. That's everything you ever want to know, I know. All right, come on up by stretching out your legs and slow. Come on up to the top. Nice job. Bring it in. You guys did great today. That's Friday workout. We're coming at you tomorrow, Saturday, with a sports team workout. So wear some jerseys, Kobe, MJ, whatever you got. Put on your spirit sports team for the workout, and we'll, we want to see your pictures, right? Take your sweaty selfie with your sports team jersey. Yeah, let's go. We're going to break it down. What's the word of the week is lifestyle, right? That's why we want you to post those pictures so we can know your lifestyle. Lifestyle on three. Uno, go, straight. Lifestyle. Nice job, man, guys. Have a good week.